every girl lady or woman should understand ovulation ovulation can make a difference between getting pregnant and not getting pregnant there are women who are desirous of getting pregnant but just because they don't understand their ovulation they have not been able to get pregnant for months or years it would be very unfortunate if not understanding your ovulation is the only reason you have not been able to get pregnant when you don't have other problems so please watch carefully listen carefully so you understand how to calculate your ovulation period there are different categories of women who would benefit immensely from understanding their ovulation number one are those who want to get pregnant the second are those who do not want to get pregnant but because of their faith they do not use contraception they cannot use contraception in any form number three are those whose husbands are living far away they live in another country they live in another state and they seldom come home they come home once in a year once in a quarter so he should be able to get his vacation during the period when you will be ovulating because some people don't have more than two weeks to spend with you and if it is outside of your ovulation you have wasted that period of their holiday so women with different circumstances need to understand the ovulation so that they can use it to their advantage so how do you calculate your ovulation period there are two phases in the menstrual cycle the follicular phase when the eggs are maturing and the luteal phase when if fertilization takes place then the follicle or the shell from which the egg drops from sustains the pregnancy until placenta is well established that is the second phase and it is constant at 14 days the first phase the follicular phase is not constant so if you have a 28 day regular period then your ovulation is taking place on the 14th day of your cycle if you do not have a 28 day regular cycle then it becomes important to calculate your ovulation period how do you calculate it you do it by deducting 14 from your cycle length so it means you must first understand your cycle length uh, to calculate your cycle length please watch my video that i made on menstru menstruation and its abnormalities after you have known your cycle length then you will deduct 14 from your cycle length so if your cycle length is 21 days 14 21 minus 14 is 7 that means on the seventh day you are ovulating if your cycle length is 35 days then you are ovulating on the 21st day of the cycle not of the month of the cycle so that is how to calculate it so what are the signs that you see in your body when you are ovulating you are likely to see that your breasts are full or your entire body is full and then your breasts are tender they are painful your nipples may be very very painful at that point some people also experience lower abdominal pain on either side of their lower abdomen from that side where the egg is released from they may have some pain it is not everybody that experiences that but you may watch out for that because some people experience it and another thing is the changes in cervical mucus before you ovulate you might see that the cervical mucus is thick and white you might be able to hold it in between two fingers but during ovulation it changes it becomes clear and transparent like egg white it is stretchy it is slimy it is like water you know very transparent and it is just like egg white at that period you won't be able to hold it between two fingers lastly the basal body temperature may also change it rises during your ovulation and it requires you to take it to take your temperature every morning before you get out of bed and you chat it when you see a sustained elevation that is when you're ovulating you know it is possible for you to have a spike and it comes down but when you ovulate it is sustained at that level and the difference is not much it is just about 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 degrees celsius in the uh, temperature change so you may want to watch out for that also another way to know if you are ovulating is to use ovulation predictor kit they are sold over the counter so buy it from any uh, pharmacy and you use early morning urine and it is just a dipstick just like your drain just the way you check for pregnancy with dipstick you dip it in the urine and you see whether it is positive or not if it is positive it means that you are going to ovulate in the next 12 to 24 hours 
Now that you have known your ovulation period, if you do not want to get pregnant, that is the time to avoid sex. If you have your husband far away elsewhere and he wants to take his leave so he can come to you, please guide him so that he can take his leave at around that period. And if you want to get pregnant, then you start having sex five days before your ovulation period and up to 48 hours after your ovulation. Sometimes there are little variations. Even for somebody that has a 28-day regular cycle, that cycle can be shorter than 28 days sometimes. So it can come like 26 days. So what it means is that you are ovulating not on the 14th day for that particular cycle, but on the 12th day. So it's important that you understand all of these small, small things. It's like a 10, 7, 10 days period when you can concentrate sexual activities so that the chances of getting pregnant are higher. This is one information that every woman should have and you should share with all your friends and sisters. Please let us do just that. If you have further questions on this matter, please put them in the comment section or on the WhatsApp number showing on your screen. And do not forget that good health is great wealth. Thanks once again. I'll see you in my next video. God willing next week. Until then, be safe. Bye.